This is geometry. We're working on equations of circles. So we're going to look at the standard equation of a circle. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. This is where H and K are the center of the circle, and the R is the radius. So to write an equation, you need to know what the H and K are, which is your center, and you need to know the length of the radius, which is your R. So in this case, we are given an H and a K, and of course we're given a radius, so if we start out with our formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, we would plug in the negative 5 into our h value. That's going to give us x minus a negative 5. Now notice how I use parentheses around the negative. Plus y minus k. k would be a 2. I don't need parentheses around the 2 because I don't have two signs side by side. Equals r squared and we know the r is 2 so it's 2 squared. So you want to write a line that plugs all your numbers right into your equation. Then you can clean that up. Two negatives make it a positive 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. And that would be the equation of a circle that has a center at 5, or negative 5, 2, and a radius of 2. <coughs> Notice that inside the parentheses, this is going to be opposite looking from what the center actually is. And here, the negative 2 is the opposite of what the center actually is. It will always be like that. And the radius is always the square root of what this is equaling because in our formula it was r squared. So our next one, we have our h and our k. This is a diameter. We know the diameter equals 2 times the radius. So if the diameter is 10, then the radius will have to divide by 2. Then the radius is going to be 5. So using our formula, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. That's what we were starting with. We put our h value in, so we put in 0 for h. We put a negative 3 in for the k, so we have to use parentheses around that negative 3. And then the radius a 5 is going to be squared. So that's going to give us x squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 25. Next, we're going to write the equation when we're given a graph of a circle. Remember what we need when we write an equation. We need to know the center, which is considered our hk. So in this case, when you use your eyes and you look for that center point of the circle, that's going to be right here, what we call the origin at 0, 0. For this picture. And then we have to count the distance to the right, which is one unit, two units, three units. So the radius is going to be three. 
Now that's going to be the same if you count it up. That should be three units and left should be three units and down should be three units. So that's how you know you're at the center because all the directions to the edge of the circle is the same. It's difficult for us to count diagonally. But to count horizontally or vertically, it's just fine. We can use the units to count that. So, if we know we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, we can plug in the zero for the h the zero for the K, and the three for the R. Now X minus nothing is still just X, so that's X being squared, and Y being squared, and three squared is nine. So there's the equation of this circle. So you go ahead and try to put together the equation for this one. You can pause the video, write out your own equation, then come back and see how you did. To write our equation of a circle, we need to know what the radius is, and we need to know what the center of the circle is. We probably have to find the center first. So I'm looking to see how we're curving and then we start to fall again on this side. So it looks like the center of our circle is along this line and looking at how it curves and swings back across, it looks like it's along this line and those are intersecting right here. Now to test that, I see we would call this a center of one, negative one. That is our H and our K. To test that, we'd go one, two, three, four, five. And it should be five in every direction. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And also one, two, three, four, five. So that verifies that that is the center. The radius is five. So if I know the center and I know the radius, I can write my equation. So I start out with the equation of a circle and that is X minus one so I don't need parentheses around the one, but I need parentheses around the X minus one. Since the K is negative, I need parentheses around it. There's nothing I can do with the X minus one, so that just leaves us as X minus one squared. Here we have Y minus a negative. So we can write this as y plus one. And of course, five squared is known as 25. Remember, it's gonna be the opposite of what it looks like. It looks like it's positive one, so in parentheses, it's negative one. It looks like a negative one for the k, so it's gonna be y plus one. It moves one to the right, so in the equation it says minus. It moves one down, so in the equation it's plus. So here we're gonna take our equation and we're gonna graph our circle. Same type of stuff you need. You need a center and you need a radius, and you can graph your circle. 
your center is your H and K. There's no numbers in addition to the X and the Y. So those would be considered zero, zero. There's no parentheses, so there's no X and Y. Sorry, there is no H and K. The radius squared equals 16. So we have to take the square root of r squared. We have to take the square root of 16. That gives us 4. So we know what our center is, and now we know what the radius is. So we take our center, which is 0, 0, called the origin, and we go 4 to the right. We go 4 up. 4 left. 4 down. And there is your circle. So we'll come over to the second example. You can pause the video, give this one a try. To graph our equation, we need to know what the center of the circle is, which is considered our H and K. In this case, it would be x minus a negative 2, so the h is a negative 2. And here, we don't have any number with our y, so that's going to be a 0. Remember, it's always the opposite of what's inside the parentheses. This looks like a plus 2. It looks like h would be a plus 2, but the formula is x minus h. So for this to say plus 2, the H has to be at the opposite of that. So we're going to be at negative 2, comma 0. We've gone 2 to the left. And then the radius squared is 16, so R is going to be 4. We're going to go 4 to the right, 4 up, 4 left, and 4 down. There we have our circle. Now notice how this one's a little bit different. This one gives us a center, which is considered our H and our K. It gives us a point on the circle which is our x and the y. But we don't have a radius. If we made a, a quick sketch of this, we have our center point at 0, 0. We have a point on the circle, which is 0, 4. And then we should be able to do our graph that goes around it. Now that might be enough for you to identify what the radius is. Because it is vertical, you could actually count. But there's also a way to calculate it. So let's practice calculating it on one that you understand what the answer is. And then we can calculate one on a diagonal and you could believe that's the value. So here on example number five, we take our equation and we're going to plug in 0 for the x and 0 for the h squared, 4 for the y, 0 for the k, and we still don't know what the radius is. 
So that gives us 0 squared plus 16, because we say 4 squared, equals r squared. And when we take the square root of the 16, we find out that r is 4. If the radius is 4, then we're ready to write our equation as x squared plus y squared equals 16. And actually, we don't need, let me take a step back there, we don't need to know what r is. We just need to know what r squared is. So I'm going to turn this back to a 16 and put a square on there. So 0 squared is 0, plus the 16 gives me my r squared. My equation uses r squared, so that's all I need. Okay, last example. Here is the H and K, the X and the Y. We start out with our equation of X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. We're going to plug in the negative 1 and the H, plug in the 2, minus a negative 3, so you've got to use parentheses, and we're trying to calculate for the R. That gives us negative 4 being squared, that gives us 2 plus 3, that's being squared, so when you square negative 4, you get positive 16. Many people make a mistake there and they call that negative 16. But when you square a negative, you get a positive. 2 and 3 is 5, and we square that, we get 25. So 41 is our r squared. So we're ready to write our equation. x minus 3 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 41.